pay attention. Oh, yeah. You're looking for capitals. Kyle, where are you going to go? NQT, Ben Nelson's been teaching for just five months. See how that now looks like that? Mm. He's had a testing time, especially with year eight. Yep. And with four weeks to the end of the summer term, he's counting the days. Ben's on a temporary contract teaching design and technology at Brockworth Enterprise School, a secondary in Gloucestershire where they've hung on to grammar schools. John Bailey will be following Ben's progress over the next few months. OK, have you all got a pencil? No. Ben's introducing Year 8 to isometric drawing. OJ, you're late. Why are you late? So, can you take a ruler? Can you take a pencil? There's a starter on your desk. Have you got a pencil, OJ? Why not? Can you take your jacket off, please, Bianca? Can you take your jacket off? You're late. Why are you late? What are they going to say? Because I'm socially inadequate? Because I don't plan my life properly? Yeah. And similarly, if you've got a pencil, why not? Um, it's negative. Sorry, sir, because I'm a really inadequate planner and um, <laughs> I wish I was a more complete human being. If you want them on your side, uh, make sure that first ten minutes is full of positive stuff. Um, he knows he's late, you know he's late. You can sort that out later on. The first thing is to say, bravo, very pleased to see you. You've arrived. Yeah. Well, guys, as a starter activity, can you copy it? You can use two squares for one. You're loving it in science. Can we copy that? OK, double the size of the squares, because we've only got little paper. Kyle? Right, can we get on with this exercise, please? I'll give you, I'll give you ten minutes to do it, so we've got till half past. Right, all you have to do is copy the diagram onto the squares. The squares are confusing. Okay. Yeah, but they're there to help you. Just copy them. All the lines, guys. If we look at the board, all the lines that go downwards. Yeah. There's lines that, if you have the paper that way round, the lines that go downwards are the same as those lines there. Anything that goes to the left will go up at 30 degrees that way. And the other way, they'll go at 30 degrees the other way. So you'll find it looks like a square. So if you have a go, I'll then go through an exercise on a sheet with you. Just try and do the exercise there first. I think at the beginning, they gave you... Um they gave you a hearing, and you draw you drew the vertical line with um, uh, with one two two thirty degree uprights either side, um, and I was thinking, oh, give us a bit more of that, um, okay. because if I can see one worked example, you leave a record up on the whiteboard you not got of how to do it. Christian, you, you want to watch because you don't seem to have got it. I can't do it. And then, <laughs> if you come across. <laughs> Oh. Hey, sir, so, do you have to one, do the block thing? Two, yes, do the block thing. What, that on the sheet there? Yep. I don't know how to do that. Okay, we'll go through it in a second. They both got stuck, um, but they were more or less wholly dependent on you to get them unstuck yep. because they didn't have anything to, to see up the front. Uh, the worked example does some of the teaching for you, doesn't it? Yes. So you don't have to uh, run around yeah. showing them all. Like that. So that comes down. So that's now looking like an L. So where do you think this line that might come up the top of that? That's the side. Yeah, so what will that be? Bianca's. Oh, yeah. If I do it well, then you better correct me. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so if we go. The first task was to copy the 3D diagram. And the second was to draw their initials in 3D. Sir, I need your help. That's excellent, that is excellent. Sir, can I remember? I thought you just under that. Okay, I'm getting a lot of. Guys, can we come around the middle? I want to show you how to do these letters. Now, watch this really carefully. John's concerned that most of the class haven't really understood either task. Right, we can, we can all do that, can't we? Can you look? No. Yep. I cannot do that. Okay. That's hard. I'll show you. I'll go through you again. Right. So what we do, 
is we the lines that go side diagonally are are lines that look left to right at the bottom. Right? She used half of it. Guys, if you just watch, Michael, if you just watch the middle. So if we want the middle, we're doing an O to start with and then we'll do the B. B for Bianca. Guys? How many sides can we see on an isometric drawing? One, two, three, four. Can we see four? And let's try and find out how many children we think properly understood that. I reckon you should do Because if we were to shade that, if we were to shade ones, there. Sir, can you do B now? Right, OK, B. We're on to B. It's about three and a half children who have connected there, isn't it? Yeah. That don't look like a B yet. OK. So what do I need to do you now? Need to do you, you need to put a line across here. here. OK, so I need to do a line across there. Yeah, but sir, sir look at it. What's that meant to be an eight? Sir, don't You need something there, don't you? I don't... No. It mm. looks like some glasses. OK, <laughs> so we, we, could, we could have come across like that. In an ideal world, I arrive in a room and you say, hello, Johnny, it's week five. What we've done so far is bloody blah and bloody blong. Today we're going to do so-and-so, and in two weeks' time you're going to know how to do so-and-so. Uh, and -so. and you are my stars, we're on track, or we're way ahead of track, and so we're going to make our own space rocket this afternoon. So I've got the big picture. And I want you to render it, I want you to go really dark at the edge. Sir, I can't like that. Right. Oh, you do it for me. Really dark, really dark yeah. up the edge. Yeah. Shut up. Okay. He's the room up. So nine then. Um, are you doing that? Did you wash up now? I didn't. Are you doing that? No. Yeah. I hope you're not. No, I didn't not. see it. I'm if I do. I'm not. I'm on doing it. So Bianca. Where are we? We're about 24 minutes into the lesson. You've extended activity one because you wanted to get them um, uh, understanding. Have another go, Bianca, see if you can do it. Start with an O. OK. So I don't like being in this And then room. what you can do, oh. Bianca, look at me. Start with an O, and then you can take the cutouts out of it. Yeah, it looks like a fire fit. OK, just start with a straight O without a hole in it. A rectangle, a cuboid. What's a cuboid? Some of these more restless types, um, they're, they're beginning to lose it, aren't they? I can't even do it. Okay. It's difficult. No, it's How do you do an O? Is that an O? OJ, The structure of that lesson needs revealing more to the children who are coming along. Oh, you're doing that. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, Kevin! You just hit me off Kevin! And it also means that when you get to those phases of the lesson where um, you might find you're getting some disorganised and anomic behaviour from children, you can regroup them and say, OK, guys, I need your attention. And the reason I need your attention is we've completed objective one and objective two and we're in the middle of objective three. What happens here? OK, we can rub that away. Oh, yeah. Right, but this one, you wouldn't see. How does all of that sit with you? Oh, it's fine. That's fine. I can cope with big picture. Yeah. I can cope with little picture. I don't always feel like I feed it across well, and maybe that would help the focus, because I... OK, Hello. we had one objective today, to learn what an isometric drawing is. OK, can one of you tell me what an isometric drawing... OJ, can you look at the front, please? Diagonal. What? Attached, yes. Yeah. Like a 3D. Uh, 3D. Like where you draw diagrams. Like, <laughs> to draw a 3D letter. Like yeah. You draw 3D letters in that. You can draw 3D blocks. Okay. How many sides can you see on a 3D block? Can you just sit down? No, three. 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 Which sides are those? Front, front, back, and sides. Front. Front, front side, the middle. Side. Okay. Then, Top, front, <laughs> and side. Yeah. OK? Next week, we'll move on to the other exercise I had and we'll work through that. OK. Off you go. Thank you very much. Sir, what do I get for that word? I think you were good. You were definitely on a level... Hi, probably friend. a level five TV. for that. <laughs> September. A new term. Will Bailey see any improvement? 
starters on the board. Okay, you should be getting your own workbook out and creating your own template that I'm going to let you stick on with Evo Stick. Ben's taken John's advice and devised workbooks for his new year eights who are designing and making money boxes. Okay, so it should look like that. Okay, with the template. The blocks are over there. Yes. This is all good, isn't it? This is all much better structure. Every time you increase structure, um, you improve their behaviour. We're going to learn to use a tenon saw and a coping saw today to cut out our work. We're not going to go within it, so we're going to use a tenon saw to cut down and a coping saw to go around to the corners. Luke, can you come over here? Sam, can you put your tool down and come over here, please? Thank you very much. What, tell me about gravity. Yes? Um, an apple fell on his head. Yeah, and what did he decide? He decided that, <laughs> that gravity was things that were falling down. OK, we're going to pretend that our saw likes gravity, so it's going to go straight down and not across. So it's push down nearly. OK. OK, and forward. Can you work sensibly forward to a bend? Although the lesson has more structure, John wants Ben to be more positive. It kills. Yes, you might need to, just the same as this one, you might want to just expand with a pencil just around here. OK, so we can cut out. Don't forget, what we're after is clarity of instruction and that a huge amount of reinforcement. I'm going to start counting. Thank you, sir. Jimmy, you is the other side Is that just more? Just see if you can get a pen and just come out to the outside a little bit so you know that you're allowing enough. OK, so you just expand. Yeah, so you can expand the back of his head. No, you can just get a pen on the wood. Thank you, well done. Thank you, well done. Ah. There's one. <laughs> right, there's a board there. Um, right, who wanted help? I'm... <laughs> OK, I'm going to come and help you. I need to get Mr Lotsy's board rubber. Because we're going to end up cutting round with a coping saw between the gaps. And then we're only cutting out little chunks at a time. Oh, yeah? yeah, so if I go deeper on each one... Yeah, and then, and then we haven't got as much to file at the end. Ah, uh, yeah. Aha! Well done. Thanks. You are a wise man. There's no one there. Right, yes, that's good. What's wrong with that? OK, sorry I've got to demonstrate this again. Can you come round? No, not again. That's the next step. Right. OK, can you watch? And then I don't have to repeat myself again. OK, quiet. This is a coping saw, OK? I'm just getting into it. And, um, and the blasted teacher claps his hands or claps her hands and they want attention again. And I find myself thinking, ah! Yeah, we just got started, we just got started. And, and, and then the teacher says, all eyes on me, and I'm meant to model it as well, you know. And I can almost feel myself being that kid. I'm, I'm looking at the teacher, but I'm still trying just to finish well, off that. I find that... it, yeah, it's really upsetting when you're watching a kid and, he's, and all they're desperate to do is finish their soaring. And you yeah. go, I want you to come here. And I had a few of them when I had the problems with dishing yeah. out the C2s. It's because they couldn't stop touching their work. Yes. Right, I'm going to have to give you a C1, I'm afraid. Ben's using sanctions from the new behaviour policy, so you're not to come round here. Brandon, which can lead, really ultimately, to, to removal from class. Excuse me, Georgia. I know you're keen. Jade, can you come round, please? Medi? Right. Right, girls, I'm going to have to give you both a C1, because you've chosen not to come and watch my demonstration. If you carry on, I will give you a C2. Right. I want you to get the saw. Brandon, come and watch. OK, with the saw, we twist and we saw all the way around. Luke, I'm going to have to give you a C2, Luke. We're standing around the bench. What am I looking for? Tell me what I'm looking for, uh, Ben. You're a student now. Hands open, ears open, standing up. And everyone can have a view. OK, everyone can have a view. Thank you, Alice. Thank you, Letitia. Thank you. I, wonderful stuff. And then uh, 
tiddly bomb, tiddly bush, a couple of kids go fiddle, you point at the child and say, what am I looking for? Why does it make you wriggle slightly with embarrassment? It's, You're like, looking... it's like being a baby, it's like... Yeah, well, it may be a bit like being a baby, but when we're trying to establish these routines with children, you, you've just got to have them so they know what they're meant to be doing when they're standing at the bench, they know what they're meant to be doing when they're doing their work. That's what I mean by an activity direction. You're telling them what you want. Yes. Hello. Luke, can you come round here, please? Or I'll be forced to give you a C1, I'm afraid, Luke. Sorry. Right. Rebecca? Um, and it went okay, wrong. Because, because it, it went wrong. And as a matter of fact, I think, I think what went wrong was you. I thought you got irritable. I got, yeah, it was... Can you, make, can you put your apron sensibly? Or I'll be forced to have to give you a C1 as well. You're choosing not to wear appropriate equipment in the workshop. Thank you very much. Right, Medi? Right, so, the hole. They're hot, they're tired. Um, uh, their, their, their concentration isn't all it could be. Can you put your apron on, please? It's a bit broke. Or I'll be giving you a C1. It's a bit broke. I'm sorry, it's it's broke. I want to wear it even if it's a little bit broke. It's broke, sir. Adam? Can, Adam? Can you come round here so you can see? And Josh? You're getting snappy with them. Um, and you haven't done the political work to lay the ground for it. You haven't gone round saying, fantastic, you're my girl, my stars, what a wonderful class. Adam, if you choose to do that, that I consider that dangerous, and I might even go straight to a C3. What? Do? They would not only feel good about themselves, but they would be your allies for the next 15 or 20 minutes. Danielle, I'm going to have to give you a C1, I'm afraid, because you weren't watching again. She's got head yeah. Right, OK, can you just come round here, just finally? I want to recap. Medi, I'm going to have to give you a C1 as well. Right. I'll lend a hand with it. I think this lesson is going much, much better than you think it is. 90% of the kids are doing the work that you want them to. And what's happening is they've goaded you into a bit of a war. What I want you to do is go around doing some massive reinforcement, and so will I. Let's spend five minutes going around, and we won't pay any attention. No more C1s for five minutes. No, no. no. Let's, let's do yeah, a charm fine. offensive because this, this is nowhere near as bad as you think it is. No, I don't. So, I don't. I don't believe it's bad at all. Ah, you look as though you do. No, I just. It's just that I know that I've done two demonstrations very quickly. Yeah. Because I, there were two things that I yeah. needed to get done. I wanted them to get the cutting done. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. I better sort let's this get, out. Okay, then we'll get I, back they in got there. Me okay. What's the matter? What's the matter, guys? All the time in the world, there. Yeah, you're a champion. Get your weight forward a bit more over the saw. Excellent. How you doing, missus? I've got 16 praises in the last three minutes. Beat that. 16, sir. Yeah, 16. Go for it. There's one. OK, get a file. I don't want you to go straight across. I want to go sideways. That's excellent. Well done. Side, no Excellent, box. yes, fantastic. Good thinking, Batman. It's not a moral Sir, point, no it's a technical skill, and you use it to increase your authority and control in the room. I, I, I know there's a kind of extremely remote danger you, that, you can you, get uh, into, no, that you can get into giving sugary uh, it, it feels artificial... It's plastic at times, because you, you're giving praise for no reason. Yeah. But if you're going around telling children they're on task yeah. and they're doing the right thing, that's not no, no reason. No, it's yeah, the right... it's fine. And also, to, to be brutally frank, you're a long way away from the stage where I criticise you for giving too much praise. John feels that if Ben's to understand the importance of positive reinforcement, he needs to see it yeah. in practice. Yeah. How tall are you now? I am four foot five. And a half. Yeah. So they're watching the new head teacher. Paul Elliott's design and technology lesson. OK, You're off the wall, please. Five. Okay. I'm four foot seven. Face this way. All of you, please. Thank you. When you're ready. Thank you. Quietly into your seats. Thank you. Paul's teaching year seven how to design a chocolate bar mould and packaging. I've got to say, I am rarely this impressed. Rarely. I've been around a long time. For example, George battled and then got there. He's actually got there with his isometric drawing. 
I can see what you're going to make. I need to know the size of it, George. Well done. This one is fantastic. Josh, I'm going to have to find a special bit of wood for you to make this shape. You're going to do this, aren't you? How would you make the, the, the writing appear on the top? Um, I put the, I put it on the wrapper, I would. You would? Yeah. Excellent. He knows what he wants to do. This is what impresses me about this class. I rarely see this in Year 7. You must be very special, is that right? Can you see what I mean? This is brilliant stuff. Now, Jenny, I've got a special something for you today to make this mould work. And you've thought about that. Can you explain what you were doing here? Um, I was, like, lifting it out of the chocolate. So there's, like, the bar of chocolate. Then on top was, like, the same bit of chocolate, but on top of it. So could it be something like this? Now, this isn't chocolate. Don't try and eat this. Could it be that? Yeah, yeah. Be but over the edges, wasn't and it? And then do something else? Yeah. Now, your job today is how to, th how to do that. What could we use for that? What I'm impressed about is you've actually got hold of the problem and you've solved it. This is a nice one here. This is from Kelsey. Where's Kelsey? Well done, Kelsey. I can see your shape coming out of there. What's that grid called? What's that funny word? <laughs> Isometric. Yeah, well done. It's a funny word. It means 30 degree angles. That's helped you to produce those drawings. To add to that today, this is the exciting part of the work. You've got to make your work come to life. With the glass of this size, it's pretty. Well, and, and, what we, and what we get. Yeah. It's paradise. The thing about them is they're just so naturally curious. Liam, can I thank you for that? Liam just said something to me which I wanted to hear. He said, I don't want that shape of box. Great. When you've made it, Liam, see how it works. They come and get design B, and that's probably the box shape that you do want. Do that one first. But it's still on the box. I want you to get practice making them. They're quite tough things to cut out, aren't they? One of the things that I wrote is he manifestly likes them. Yeah. And that's... Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Yes, well done. Now try this one if you've done that one. He, he does look as though he thinks that that's an opportunity to enjoy himself, doesn't he? Well, he does, because if you, you've got to remember, he's only teaching three lessons a week. So he can come in here and relax and switch off from, from headship. He's not doing it, he's not coming in like we had yesterday, six lessons in a row. Yeah. I bet he had a pound of discus. He did very much different when he was teaching six lessons a week. No. I think, it's a, I think it's a great design, this. So you want that shape on there, do you? Yeah. Should we try this? Yeah. When we make it, I want, I want it to be longer. Like that? Yeah, but I never will do it long. Oh, that's a picture. You're going to be a boss when you grow up? No. Nope. Well, you do that bit, the explosion bit inside there. Yeah. You know the word can't? It doesn't exist. Okay, can't. 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 Not. He knows very good. I wonder if you can explain such and such. So he asks, yeah, he asks challenging questions. There's a lot of technique buried in there. Yeah. It makes a tangle blue. What, blue chocolate? No, you get chocolate, but it makes a tangle blue. Does it? No, you, can we do that? In some sweet. Yeah. You might. Why would you do that? That's usually on that lollipops. Anyway. Lollipops do, don't they? No, yeah, but more people would want to buy it. <laughs> if you can put food chocolate, food colour on in it. Well, that is raised a very good point. The colour of the chocolate needn't be just chocolate, need it? It would make it could a, be a different chocolate it would, turns your tongue brown. It would make yeah. it would make and children want to buy it more because it would be more popular. Why? But if it was like a bright more colour. More appealing. Yeah, because more bright colour. Yeah, yeah, it would be appealing. It's like, it's like keep talking. Keep designing. It's like the monkey. This, this, this praise, this reinforcement, they feel so happy with it. And that he's got them, hasn't he? He's, he's moulded them. Like... You don't like it. Christmas one. It's not. They're not lost. Yeah. So they keep going. It's yeah. A lot of it's not being lost, isn't it? It's feeling like you've got the you, 30 seconds of your teacher's attention. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a kind of running discussion between um, uh, Ben uh, and, and, and me. Um, 
uh, about what the role of teacher praise is. I, I once worked in a secure unit of a special school. Severe, severe behaviour problem. They were locked up. They were literally murderers and they'd beaten people. Not horrible. And the head said to me then, Paul, you've got to find something to like in every single one of these students or leave. And it was the best advice I have ever been given in my life. Because it's very easy to find things you don't like in them. Read what they've done. Now, that's a very extreme example. However, the same principle applies in teaching. You can see people that don't like children. They shouldn't be in teaching. And if sometimes you're feeling a bit rough, you've had a bad night or you're tired, you've got to make an extra special effort to show them you like them. Not just, you know, a false thing that they can see through. Genuinely show them that you like to be with them. Thank you for coming in. Thanks very much. They will be on time next time, every time then. And that's what you praise. The structure, the routines, which they are looking for every single lesson you see them. Can I do that, sir? Can I give these out? That's great. That's, they're looking for the structure that they can live within. It's comfortable. They can be themselves. You never issued a C or even threatened to see at all, you know. Well, I mean, in that you, case... Well, obviously you didn't have to, but, you know, you know, even when they went and picked up the, the templates and, you know... Was, I do believe, and, I, and it's not popular, I think the behaviour is in the teaching. I really do. There are occasions when you think this person really is in the wrong kind of school, but that's not the usual occasion. Most behaviour is in the teaching. I agree with that.